Hello guys, Dr. Scope from 667, bringing you the third game in the 667 Clan series. It is Domination on Hard Hat. It is featuring the gameplay of Dr. Ultralaser, and he is back and we're underway. Alright, so he's not playing with anyone from the clan, he's just uh, just in a random public match with just a bunch of people that he doesn't know. I don't think anyone has a headset on, so um, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty much just get shot in the back as you think it, you think your teammate had it covered, but he didn't. Um, that's generally how it goes, but you never know your luck. Um, yeah, so we're going to see how uh, Mr. Ultra Laser does this game. And, yeah, check out a bit of his gameplay. So basically, Matt, uh, Dr. Ultra Laser, back in the days of Modern Warfare 2, all those years ago. Um, it was pretty random actually, uh, I've got another guy on my friends list on my other account, Dr. Mantis, the evil Dr. Mantis, I think is is what he's trying to do with the gamer tag, you know, like a Bond, a Bond villain or something, um, anyway, uh, yeah, we were just having a bit of a random chat about other internet doctor names and sort of what we'd all seen, oh, as he gets tripled, unlucky, um, he basically said there's a, uh, there's a Dr. Ultra Laser. So I just randomly sent Ultra Laser a friend request and um, pretty much forgot all about it. Ended up playing some games with him, I don't know, a, a short period of time later. Um, yeah, he's a good player, nice bloke, and uh, now he's a part of our clan and has been for a little while. Uh, he didn't play too much in the second half of Black Ops. I believe he, well, I know for a fact that he was uh, finishing his last year of high school, or whatever they call it in Queensland. I'm sure they call it high school, but you never know. Um, <laughs> yeah, finishing that off, so uh, I don't think his mum would let him play PlayStation too much. Or maybe he was just being diligent, I'm not entirely sure. But um, now that he's finished with that little section of his life, he's back, he's playing a fair bit of Modern Warfare 3, and generally raping a fair bit of face. Yeah, nice. Even if he is using a Type 95. No, that's okay. You don't really want to run into like a full party of six with headsets and Type 95s. That's that's probably yeah. We would never do that. No, never. It's terrible. That would be just soul destroying. It really would be. But you know, if we're playing another party of six. And they're all using Type 95s, and we play playing a few games in a row. Yeah, then maybe third game in a row. Everyone on uh, on our side might be rocking the Type 95, and of course that's all fair. I think it is anyway. Uh, Dr. Ultra Laser has his assault streak <coughs> assault streaks set quite low, and that way, because he's playing with randoms, if he dies, oh, it's a nice little bit of uh, head glitching and jump shooting. Very nice. Type 95 is probably just about the weapon you want to be using to do that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, he's got his his. Uh, Assault streaks set quite low, allowing him to die and still hit him, allowing him to rain down on the enemy team a variety of um, things to kill them. Yeah, we're going to see how he does. At the moment, oh, it's about even. Some trading flags. It's all going pretty good, you know, he's putting in a fair bit of effort. Uh, Dr. Ultra Laser is a pretty good sniper, pretty good 1v1 sniper um, throughout the various COD games which you may or may not find interesting. Um, oh, they've just released some new prestiges. I don't know why, but apparently they're now releasing 15th, well, up to 15th prestige instead of just up to 10th. I'm not entirely sure why, I'm guessing to try and encourage people to keep playing the game after they've obviously hit max prestige which keeps a lot of people in it um will that get everyone back into the game i'm not sure it's obviously going to get some people back into the game it's a bit of an excuse to play the game but yeah it's not really changing my mind i'll be going to um probably going to go to eighth prestige i'm currently on seventh probably ramped my the amount of time i've been playing um Modern Warfare 3 down a little bit in about the last month. I found it quite soul destroying 
when I realised that um, Elite wasn't getting the maps on PS3 until like five weeks after Xbox was. I was still am very disappointed about that because I am sick and tired of playing Domination on um, on all the same maps. And yes, I could play something else, but we've been through this before. Really prefer it. No camping. Lag is less of a factor. Search and destroy. There's no respawn timer. You know, you get heglitched out by a guy who's host on a four bar. It's fucking balls. Absolute balls. Yeah. So it would be nice to play some other maps. Xbox is going to have the second bit of um, map DLC released before we on PlayStation get our first. Or before we on PlayStation Elite get our first. Which is quite shit, but uh, as everyone I'm sure knows, it's an existing agreement. Fuck all's going to change it. I believe it uh, finishes at the end of this year or something like that. Having said that, I've not verified this for myself. Oh, dead man's hand. Yes. Don't you love that? So I is doing pretty good at the moment, you know, just sort of, sort of trying to keep the, keep the uh, middle of hard hat under control I just call it the groove you know that little bit where you can sort of run between A and B and check the pipe just refer to it as getting in the groove and staying in it because it is by far the easiest way to both um, not get raped and win the game which surprisingly enough go hand in hand yeah so it'll be interesting to see whether everyone comes back that's already hit 10th prestige and um gone on to do something else or or whatever, whether they will just continue to press stage, whether it's going to make any difference whatsoever. Maybe they just realise that um, the ninth and 10th prestige emblems look like shit. I'm not entirely sure. I reckon that's what it was. Or it's just Robert Trolling just having a bit of a laugh, you know. They've also released an infected game mode in the last week and a half, two weeks, uh, which I personally am not a massive fan of. It's good fun playing in a private match. Um, when it's online, I mean, I know it's only going to be around for a month, but if you were a dick, you could just join the game, obviously climb on top of some sort of cover, you know, get 8, 10, 5, 15 kills, not die, maybe get a mob. Um, and then as soon as you die, right, and obviously it's much harder to maintain a good KD when you are infected, right, obviously. Um, but if they just leave the game because they don't care about their win-loss, then they're going to end up with this ridiculously stacked KD, and then you're just going to get trolled by some retard who's like, oh, look at your KD, I've got a wicked KD, and it'll be from that. So that's my fear, right, that I'm going to cop some sort of uh, retarded argument like that. But, tell me what can you do about it. Yeah, so I uh, haven't really played much Infected. I know a lot of people have been having a lot of fun doing it. It looks like pretty good fun. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's just a bit random. A bit of sort of stuff around. Do you know what I mean? You know. I sort of do private matches for that, and if I'm playing online, I want to sort of play with a bit more of a purpose. Not just like be one of a dozen people standing on top of a truck or... Obviously you don't have to play it that way. You can move around. But you know, you can get lone stuff. Oh, I don't know how he doesn't die here. This is like, yeah. Hard to kill. Very hard to kill. Uh, yeah, so the... The, um, the video that will follow this in the clan series will feature the gameplay of Hingo. We know you know Hingo, or if you don't, you know him after you watch that. Um, if you haven't seen the first two videos in the series, they are by uh, the first one was Moshi and Terps for the second. And as the game's getting pretty close to wrapping up, Dr. Ultra Laser hits a mob! Very nice. Did you see that one coming? Did you? Did I pause for too long? Was it obvious? Because the first time I watched this game, I 
did not see it coming at all. I was just like, oh, he's fucking flying a bit better now. Because he made a few little mistakes at the start of the game. And then just bang. Nice, uh, solid mob with unsolent weapons. Very nice, Dr. Ultra Laser. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay of Dr. Ultra Laser. I hope you're enjoying the clan series. I hope you're well and all that sort of thing. So this has been Dr. Scope from 667 saying thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. Leave a comment if you can be bothered. Like or dislike if you can be bothered. And um, yeah, have a nice day, evening, morning, whatever. And I'll speak to you next time. Cheers.